90 Day Fiance is the TV series I don't need to introduce to anyone, especially since they seem to come out with a new show every 5 seconds. But it's really blown up over the course of quarantine, and I could see why. The show's a complete shit fest from start to finish, and it used to not be like this. The show used to have some heart to it, to say the least. It used to be about couples' actual struggles with financing themselves living over there or adjusting to life or seeing if they can actually coexist as a couple. But now it just seems to be a bunch of assholes and characters trying to be on the show because they're a bunch of assholes and characters. It doesn't mean the original seasons were amazing by any means, they weren't. But you could support these people, try to live together or see where they were coming from. They quickly devolved into just more and more assholes getting on TV, getting with their sugar mamas, or old creepy old men trying to hook up with like 19 year olds out of the country. It became really weird really fast. The main reason I assumed this show blew up so much during quarantine was because of Big Ed, that really short guy that goes at the Filipino chick in the new season. And I could see why he's quite the character, but he's not really a good one. Because originally people were like, oh, it's a quirky old man trying to get with a little Asian lady. How cute and kind of weird since she's like 20 years younger than him. But that's par for the course for this show. So I have been dyeing my hair and it irritates my scalp. So I found out that mayonnaise makes it smoother and less dry. I'm yeah. disappointed. I finally understand what he said about STD test. I feel uh, hurt. I feel, oh, my heart cracked. You want to test me? I, I feel you would not trust me. Okay. I feel offended. But this video isn't about him and his failure of a relationship. This is about the OG bad couple on 90 Day. Darcy and Jesse, get out of my life. Karini and Paul? Jog on. There's one couple I care about, and that's Muhammad and Danielle. This was before 90 Day had the brilliant idea to make every couple bad, so you couldn't support any of them. So one minute you'd have this mess going on, and then the next minute you'd cut to another couple you could actually support, and that helped break up the monotony, because although this was really entertaining to watch and is still entertaining to go back on, because it was broken up, it did feel like you were just constantly getting the same thing over and over again. Mohammed and Danielle were the first for really everything when it comes to the 90 day standard. They had a big age difference by 15 years, which was a lot for the time, but given that it's been a couple years since then, and every season has at least one 20 plus age difference couple, and now there's even a 40 plus age difference couple, it's not even that shocking anymore. Another thing they did was they were the first couple to really get internet famous because of all of the wacky stuff they pulled, like him not kissing her at her own wedding or leaving her and her going after him like Doug the Bounty Hunter. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Uh, I want to tell something about kissing that I'm not allowed to kiss in this uh, time because there is some specific things we do it in my religion mm -hmm. in this month so, so that's why okay he needs to search online for an address to get him served yeah Muhammad he tries to hide where he's living at but Muhammad likes attention I mean he posts every single day my favorite part about the couple was how fast things fell apart like almost within a couple weeks of him moving she lost her own job and her own electricity went out when they were supposed to be getting married within like a couple days. Muhammad just found out about some past due bills after our cell phones just got shut off. Now that he knows how bad my financial problems are, I'm afraid he'll want to leave to go back to Tunisia. You need to explain me everything so I can understand. What made it really funny was it was so clear that Muhammad just wanted his green card. They really had to work for it because this lady was putting up everything. Like not only was she really old, like 15 years older than him, but she had no finances. She lied about her financial situation, said it was fine and that she could pay for everything. 
but within a month of moving into her own house, everything's going off. He gets laid off and he can't find a job. It's just really, really stressful and funny because you don't have to feel bad for him because, you know, he's just leeching off her for a visa. And you don't have to feel bad for her because she's obviously just looking for some young stud to hook up with. I lost my job. They let me go. Why? What's the reason? Explain me more. You did something wrong? No, I didn't do nothing wrong. So how they fired someone did nothing wrong? They felt that I'm not good enough at the job. But you wasn't serious about jobs. That's why you lost it. I can find another one. I don't believe that. What we gonna do? I you are the only one responsible about the money job. till I get a job. We lost everything. What made them so interesting back then was because they were the only couple that was like this. Like, all the other couples had to deal with the problems of seeing if they're compatible, or trying to get their family to get along with them, or trying to get the finances worked out. And sure, they went through it too, but it was just so strange and weird. Especially with how he did things. Like, abandoning her, like, a couple days after getting married. And what's funny is that they even end there, I'm pretty sure, 100%, the only reason they had the after the 90 days was because of this couple, because of how popular they got. This man runs away to Miami to get away from Danielle. And while he's doing that, she's trying to get divorce papers and trying to get him deported back to Tunisia. And this goes on for like two seasons of after the 90 days. And even though after all of that, after they get off the show because they're not a couple anymore and they can't really bring the fight along anymore she still tries to get deported for like three more years before she finally gets over it moving on from muhammad but i want to show him he can't treat someone like this and expect to get away with it after i saw him in miami he disappeared i've been trying to track him down for a while and i finally found him there's even a part where she gets catfished by some trucker well, some nobody, because he's not real, and drives six hours to see the guy. Note that he did not answer once on her drive there, but she decided to go the whole six hours there, even though the guy never texted her back, never called back, so she didn't know if he even was still doing it. And the worst part about it is she drug a bunch of cameramen along who had to just sit in the car for six hours and film this lady drive to nothing. All I know about Nelson is he's single, he's 35, and he drives a truck. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. Hi, Nelson. I'm on my way, and I'm excited to see you. Give me a call back. At the tone. Please record your message. Hi, Nelson. This is Danielle. Um, I'll be there soon. Haven't heard from you. Are we still meeting up at your house? The mailbox is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. Please try again later. He wasn't there. Why agree to meet with someone and then not be around to meet them? I feel cursed by Muhammad. It all started with him. When I say she was trying to get him deported, I wasn't joking. He genuinely spent a couple of years trying to get him deported back to Tunisia. But it's actually turned around and during quarantine they's, they've become friends, which is kind of sweet to see, honestly. Like, this whole mess took years to resolve itself, but it's nice for it to have a happy ending to it. Next time you watch your I'm Alex's or your PewDiePie's, just know that the couples they watch run because Muhammad and Danielle rocked. But yeah, that's it for today's video. This video is going to come out a lot better because of the new editing software I'm using, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I watch too many reality shows because I find them really dumb and funny to watch. So if you enjoy this content, let me know because I wouldn't mind making more of it. I had fun editing this together. But yeah, that's it for today's video. If I could recommend anything, then I recommend watching the original 
season that Muhammad and Danielle were on, which is season two of the original 90 Day Fiance. It's a blast to watch, and all the other couples on it help balance it out from their wacky shenanigans and the other couples actually having actual struggles you can support. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.